Hi guys, so I thought I will start doing these videos of um, tarot oracle card unboxing as well um, Just for people to see because I do find these videos useful Especially before purchasing a deck or adding it onto my wish list. This beautiful deck has been gifted to me by a client um, My Amazon wish list is available to anybody um, If you want to donate an item to support my tarot content then um you get a 30 minute reading for energy exchange purposes i don't expect just to get anything and not give anything back so what we're looking into is the angel tarot uh, angel wisdom tarot by radley valentine as we know radley valentine was the individual who used to corroborate and collaborate with doreen virtue and make the angel decks i'm sure some of you may still have those because they are not in print anymore but i do see his name appear often so, of course, there's a 78 card deck and a guidebook and illustrations by Dan Craig. I'll put the information below. So, <clears throat> in the back, it says, lavishly illustrated and rich with symbolism. This tarot deck draws upon the wisdom of power of the archangels to help you speak with the divine. You'll find uplifting interpretations of traditional tarot messages and imagery. If you want to fast forward this bit, I sometimes hate the blabbing myself, but I just want to read this to get myself familiarised and some of you interested to watch the whole thing. But check the timestamps below or check the chapters or whichever is more applicable for you. So anyhow, you'll find uplifting interpretations of traditional tarot messages and imagery, including diverse contemporary depictions of classic characters. Internationally acclaimed angel tarotist Radley Valentine includes unique features on each card to make them easy to use while also drawing upon the long history of tarot to add depth to each reading. This deck offers a positive yet powerful way to find the guidance and answers from heaven you seek. Very, very good packaging, very sturdy and um, I like the uh, density of it. Let's see. So you've got this booklet, of course. Wow, it is quite thick, the booklet in itself. So definitely worth the read if you want to familiarise yourself with. Um, let's leave that there so we know what we're looking at. Right, so this is the author right there. The book in itself. For our Kendra Uriel Gabriel with gratitude for endless epiphanies. Right. Gabriel is known to be the Archangel of supporting your life purpose. Career maybe sometimes, so it's... <coughs> Makes sense, and then of course we've got the introduction and how to work with the angel tarot, and of course, quick reference guide to the card. So we've got all the elements listed here: the fire symbol, the water, the air, and the earth. Makes sense without even looking. You can sort of make how the symbols are quite easy to pick up onto, and then. The booklet in itself doesn't contain the images of the tarot um, <clears throat> cards. You just have to find it by the name and the names that have been changed. So Ego, the Devil, Balance, you got Temperance, uh, Release, Death Card, Awakening. How interesting. The Hangman, Strength. Uh, this is um, used as the old tarot traditional system. So you will find that the Wheel of Fortune, or sorry, not the Wheel of Fortune, Justice is instead of Strength and Strength has been flipped around with um, <clears throat> a justice card. So zodiac wise, I don't know how that works. And then you've got the minor arcana. So so there's a lot of reading to get done. And of course, to I normally read all the booklets on my tarot cards, of course, although I know the interpretations, every single time you reread another person's interpretation of the major trumps or minor trumps, I always add additional understanding or additional layer of meaning so let's say you might read in one book that you know the five of pentacles means feeling you know some type of health debilitations or feeling left out in the cold or some type of monetary issue but then in one older book i found that it also can mean for better or for worse because we observe two people um struggling together you know so that just added a completely different understanding of um okay, i'm gonna struggle with that just bear with me Yes, and we officially have opened this beautiful new deck. So the back of it um, has all the archangels around it, which I would assume is 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, major, major arcana, a representation of the major arcana. So let's just start one by one. Start with the full, the dreamer. I want to put them in three rows so it allows me to mix my deck, pre mix my deck as well. So just, and you can also still see these. The magician. The high priestess. Wow. It's, it's really lovely artwork. The Empress here. The Emperor. Tarapant, Vice Council. Philip Roots, Archangel Raphael. Makes sense. He governs the heart chakra, so. Chariot. Justice card. The Hermit. The Will. With all the major trumps or our representations of all the I'm presuming it will be 22, um, <sighs> 22 Archangels, Strength, yeah, real. I will reshuffle those cards, but I always normally when I do do, um, get a new deck, I, uh, divide into the row of three, I don't know why number three is like, um, I do it three times, then reshuffle again, then divide it again, and then normally pull from the middle of the deck to shuffle it up more because it needs to break into the new deck. So we've got the Awakening. Which is that one. Release the Death card. Temperance or Balance. You should be familiar with the names of the major trumps because they have completely different um you got ego which is death no sorry not the death the, de the devil <laughs> i don't know why ego and the devil came up of course um the devil death i mean the ego and death ego death it's not to do with ego death but nonetheless yeah uh, you've got your, because the shackles and the Capricorn um, zodiac sign as well are the shackles that we normally do see. But this is definitely a more positive deck um, for people that don't want the gory nuisance of dealing with uh, all the pictures that could be quite intimidating. Especially if you're doing readings for other people that may be quite uh, apprehensive seeing death or the devil cards and just it doesn't look good. So these cards are very, very good to have that more light-hearted type of relayment of messages transformation here but this is a tower energy so the tower is a, a very positively depicted here saying a significant life experience that requires changes to be made powerful and often unexpected revelations breaking free for, for procrastination releasing old belief systems so even the the messages in itself i really do like it because um they're positive, they're not very gory again, so to speak. So we've got the star Aquarius energy here. You can see the water bearer sign there. The moon, Pisces. You can see Pisces, zodiac symbolism depicted there. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine and necessary world. Let go of your fears in relation that will make everything clear. I like how of course you have these small messages so this is very applicable applicable deck for those who are learning to read tarot um because you get all these and also the more positive nuance again of the messages then we got the sun but we don't really have the depiction got some flowers i like that 
within the sun card we do have some flowers as well and that little child on the horse that we see within the rain of weight uh, but i don't really see uh, leo yeah, it's just the sun but it's the representation of leo leo is um represented by a celestial body and not a planet so it does pisces I believe it is Pisces, no, so who else? Uh, anyhow, I just digress. Renewal of judgment. The world. And then we start with fire energy because you see the symbols are here. So this is our fire. And then we have the ace of wands. Lovely. A one of fire. Two of fire. I guess you don't call it wands, you call it two of fire here. I have everything with two individuals. Um, <clears throat> got the three, three of fire. Mm, lovely, beautiful imagery though. The four of fire. The five of fire. The six of fire. Six of ones. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success promotion awards and scholarships seven of ones i love it says stand up for yourself have confidence eight of ones i love this eight of fire i do apologize and then you've got the nine of fire the ten of fire ten of ones energy I like it. Look, she's even holding her head into no one's can represent the backache, shoulder pain and headaches. So even is, is depicting the actual um, burden that this woman is feeling physically even because the ones is that physical movement and physical energy, creativity. So page of ones, page of fire. I need to look at the stuff saying. Uh, the night of fire. So of course you've got these depictions and these... um. Uh, small inscripts of the Queen of Fire, and of the King of Fire, the King and the Queen. Lovely. Even the the physical traits seem to be quite well established here because we know that normally the ones a uh, suit represents strawberry blonde hair, green eyes, and lighter complexion. So can even read from their features. Wow, I love the. Uh, one of water, the ace of water, two of water, two of cups energy, how lovely, the three of cups, finally, you know, in the this is the first deck, and I do have quite a few decks, the three, the three of cups, you have a man uh, there, we normally see three women dancing together, so this is nice, um, we've got the four of cups, we got the five of cups and five of water the six of water reconciliations childhood revisiting all dreams or plans i like how it's nicely depicted there then you've got the seven of cups water <laughs> the eight abandonment isn't it the need to move on seeking more from life than what you are experiencing a spiritual quest the nine of cups which come true your dreams become reality very nice energy the aladdin there genie in the bottle ten of cups beautiful depiction of the essence within this happy marriage happily ever after emotional contentment this is all um the images are very well relaying of the emotion that every card portrays i do like it so it is worth a go and again the benefit of having these written messages if you are again someone who's just learning tarot this is perfect the stock of the cards they, they are quite sturdy but i wouldn't say it's more matte finish as well it's not a glossy finish so essentially if you are using a ring light it probably would shine less uh, let me see because I, I do prefer cards like that um let's see if i can how the hell do i even use this bloody old phone to put flash on <laughs> Wow, I forgot how to use my old phone and now I don't know how to use flash on it just to check it out. Um, oh yeah, um, let's just do that. Yeah, let's see. Let's 
if I yeah, if I shine the light on it, well, it's still quite um, shining. It'll be shiny, but it should be less shiny. That's what I'm trying to show to you that um, if you are recording with a ring light in the darkness, it might be less reflective because sometimes when you put the ring light on and the guys are very glossy and shiny, um, it sort of disperses the images and you can't really see anything. You get the gist of it. You want the night of uh, water, a very Casanova like energy. I like that. <laughs> The Queen and the King of Water. Oddly enough, how interesting because yes, they are looking away. I know that the Queen of Cups is looking away, but in this case, the King of Cups is also looking away. So they're not really looking eye to eye. I feel like this is more about they're feeling it. They're feeling it. She's got Angel Tarot next to her throne as well. How amazing. They're not the type to... I feel like what this is implicating, well, from my personal interpretation, I would say... They're not someone who thrive on the looks or thrive on that pure sexual energy and drive because they're not looking at each other, they're not facing this way. They're looking away from each other. Although, yeah, the, whichever way you put it, but I feel like they, they're soul to soul and that it's not about the looks, it's about feelings. And of course, all our water being very inter intuitive sign, that would make sense. <sighs> One off air. That's pretty cool. Two of them. The three of them. Heartbreak. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges, healing, misunderstanding, being there for those in need. That's nice. And the three of, three of swords is the card no one really likes to see. So I like the depiction of it is really just not that scary, not that heartbreaking. And if you do see this card, you know, there is this... Uh, positivity expressed there uh, slightly um the four of i love this the four of uh, four of air the meditation taking place retrospection compartmentalization of thoughts five wow five of air an unwise choice there's better way that will make you happier I like people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. I like that because a normal raid away, the five of swords, you see obviously three figures of uh, them dispersing into different directions. And it does talk about, you know, a battle that nobody's going to win at the end of this. I like how it says, um, avoid people who have questionable motives. This, this will be more like the seven of swords energy, but I do like this. Wow. And the six of air moving forward. Uh, with the child again, woman with a child, it's like the whole family in this case, and then now we've got the seven of swords a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss, make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets, I like that. See, that's what I mean when you add layers of I never saw this card as embarrassing secrets. The eight of swords energy. Analysis, paralysis, entrapment, the illusion of entrapment. Perfect depiction. Illusion of entrapment. Good walk through the deck. The nine of swords, unfounded fear. Expecting the worst. That's creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Allowing worry to grow and out of proportion to the situation. Sleep less nice. Refocus your thoughts. Perfect. Sometimes regret and guilty conscience as well with that end of ten of swords. Not scary at all. The end of situation that brings relief, sadness or both. He's got his suitcase back. He's walking out, but that looks better than the inside of the... So remember with the Ten of Swords, it's always, you know, things cannot get any worse. The only way is up or movement forward. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, very fast moving. Fast moving energy. Fire and a Queen of Swords. And the King of Swords. Two people who kind of look a bit... No doubt, they're not very emotionally connected. They may not even be speaking to each other. She is ready to retaliate. He's bored of hearing about it, right? So, <sighs> Ace of Pentacles or One of Earth. Very lovely, beautiful depiction there. Two of Pentacles in balance. I love that because he's juggling onto the rope. Definitely in balance there. The three of pentacles, because look at that, she's uh, busy carving something that does represent craftsmanships, apprenticeships and attaining skills, working on some projects. The four of pentacles, 
Managing your resources wisely, extremes and how you give or receive money, time over emotions. I feel like this is interesting because you see this beautiful uh, emerald diamond ring, let's say, but she's giving him a coin. It's like she's expecting to get this. You've been very prudent. I like that. Oh, wow. The five of pentacles, actually. I feel like this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Let me know. I probably will have the comments turned off anyway, but I do. Or maybe I'll turn it off, turn the comments on for this video for you to comment. What is your favorite card in this deck? If you either have this deck or you're thinking about buying it whilst you're obviously visiting this deck with me right now, uh, unboxing it, what do you think? What is your favorite card? This is my favorite card. I this is so beautiful. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Pause timing for becoming self-employed. How interesting. I never knew. See that message about the five of pentacles. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. Of course, I mean, it makes sense. It's five of pentacles, but the six of pentacles integration of uh, a different variety of people in this deck. I really do like it. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, giving and receiving, charity, right? Seven of Pentacles, how beautiful. You know, the flowers are growing. Oh my God, I really, really love this deck. And if you see, what we didn't notice is these different colours that are represented within that. I feel like, of course, we got the green for uh, Earth. And then the cups had, this is, well, more emerald green. Of course, the water should be represented by potentially Archangel Raphael, I would say, but um, the Eight of Pentacles working on something together, uh, becoming the, the master of your craft. That's a very interesting definition that stuck with me well, that I read in some old book as well. I would very much advise reading um, if you're learning the tarot or you want to get more information on tarot. Reading books from like the 20s and the 60s, like really, really old books, like from Eden Gray and um, archive.org is a very good resource to find all the books. I'm reading one called The Sexual Key to the Tarot. I'm going to actually post the link below for you to find other resources that you can use. I find that old books have these um, more refined meanings and different meanings to what the New Age books are about. I try to avoid reading the New Age books because through the time it has become more muddled up and we need to stick to the basics and the basics there was less information around and, and, and you know I feel like people were more stringent on the you know the actual meanings of the tarot as opposed to now people just uh, go by their own intuition and some people don't really necessarily adhere to the the historic and the basic definition so that's why I always advise people to read the older books out there and I find a lot of very interesting things in the older books again like Eden Grace books and um I'll, I'll put this um archive.org resource where you just type in the keyword like tarot and you get um you can borrow online a book for an hour but you can continue retopping up and reading so um, i'm going to put the link to that book as well or the name of the book so you can search it up the sexual key to the tarot i forgot what the author is is a very interesting book on the sexual nuance of the tarot and and what it may represent in in, in you know sexual life so this is very interesting as well like there's a whole book on that one aspect that has a lot of that again as a layer of interpret interpretation on your cards anyhow got the nine of pentacles representing it quite nicely and then we've got the Ten of Pentacles energy. Again, family, pregnancy, just groundedness and security. The Page of Pentacles, I love that. She's learning. That's one of the um, interpretations of the Page of Pentacles, isn't it? Um, studying, learning. Got the Knight of Pentacles here. And again, I love how the depiction is. Um, of this deck is, again, abiding to the physical um, archetypal traits. Black brown hair, brown eyes, and tan complexion or dark complexion. The king and the queen look very serious and very business like. So, well, this is it. So, again, this is the Angel Wisdom Tarot. I do thank you for your time and watching this with me. I will be unboxing all the new decks that I do receive. I feel like I really enjoyed going through it myself and familiarizing myself with it as opposed to just doing it on my own quickly unboxing it having a look and also it helps those who may be considering buying this deck i would recommend it highly um i would recommend you buying this deck for sure um i do love the 
the messages, the lack of a gory detail, the positive messages. There's some type of very interesting interpretations that I also never heard before in years of reading tarot. So let's pull one message for us now. As well. no. Might as well now, isn't it? Just one card. Let's see what is the message for us. Whoever's watching this video, what do they need to hear right now, please? Archangels. Well, we've got the four of um <clears throat> four of water failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distractions of daily life discontentment or boredom lost in your own world wake up well, i guess it's a bit of a motivational one <laughs> thank you very much for watching take care now